Mr. Menendez, we were talking about what you did after you saw um, the argument between your mother and your brother. Did you go somewhere? Yes. And where did you go? I went to the guest house. Why did you go there? To talk to Lyle. And did you have in mind what you were going to talk to him about? Not really, just that you know, I, I understood or I didn't mind that he wore a hairpiece and that I was feeling down too, just, just to talk to him, to comfort him. And when you got to the guest house, did you see your brother? Yes. Where was he? He was in the bathroom fixing his hairpiece. And uh, at some point, did he come out of the bathroom? Yes. Did you start to talk to him? Yes. Can you tell us generally what you were telling him? Is it being offered for the truth of the matter asserted? No, Your Honor. And why is it being offered? It's being offered to uh, as foundation for a conversation that is being offered for truth. Objection sustained. You heard your brother testify that you talked to him about how you wanted to be close to him? Yes. And is that what you said? Yes. And did the conversation then evolve into talking about something else? Yes. And what, where did it evolve to? What else did you talk about? Again, is this being offered for the truth of the matter asserted? Yes, Your Honor. Objection sustained. Well, I'd like to approach. You may. Thank you. This objection is sustained as far as the form of the question. The uh, answers of the witness in regards to conversations are not being received for the truth of what was said. Just to uh, reflect the state of mind of uh, the defendant witness here, Mr. Eric Menendez, and uh, potentially the state of mind of the person who heard what he said. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Menendez, what did you say to your brother when you first started talking to him in the guest house? I was telling him that, uh, that things in the family didn't seem to be going so well, and it seemed to be um, a lot of secrets, um, and that people seemed to be he seemed to be getting apart, and, and that I didn't want that to happen between Lyle and I. And what else did you say? Just that uh, that I loved him, and and that I didn't want his relationship and mine to separate. Did uh, could you assess what kind of mood your brother was in when you were saying these things to him, from how he looked? Or? Well, after the incident with my mom, he he looked pretty down. Did you think that having his hairpiece torn off in front of you was a thing that would embarrass him? Yes. And did that enter at all? In, up, I'm sorry, it's the, I've got the mic covered here. Did that enter at all into your decision or desire to go talk to him? Yes. No, I knew he was very embarrassed, and, uh, and I wanted to tell him that there wasn't a reason to be. That it wasn't going to change your relationship? No. And then did you start talking about something that you were feeling badly about? Yes. I, uh, I remember asking him if he remembered a conversation that he had with Dad when he was um, a lot younger, when I was 11. And did he respond? Yeah. Uh, he said he didn't know what I was talking about. And I, I asked him several times if he remembered any, anything about conversation that he had had with dad or conversations that he had had with me um, about things that dad was doing to me and he said that he didn't know what I was talking about. So eventually did you clarify what you were talking about? Yeah. What did you say? I told him that things between dad and I were still happening and that uh, and he, he kept he kept asking what I was talking about. So and did you tell him what you were talking finally about? Finally I told him. I told okay. him that they were just sexual things. Sexual things? Yes. Now, why did you tell him that? Why did you bring that up? Because I was feeling, I was feeling really, really depressed and really down, and I didn't, I didn't know what to do at the time. So I figured I'd tell Lyle, and maybe he could help me. Okay. And did he? You heard him testify. You heard your brother Lyle testify that when you told him that sexual things were still going on with you and Dad that he was very nasty towards you. Yeah, he was very angry. 
And who did he appear to be angry at? He was angry at me. He was asking me why I never told him. He was asking me why I never did anything. He asked me if I enjoyed it, if I if I liked it, if, if I ever fought back. He, he just didn't understand. He was asking all these questions that were really surprising me. And apart from surprising you, how did the, these angry questions make you feel? They, made, they hurt me. And I was denying him when I was saying, no, of course not, no, of course not. And I was just trying to make him understand. And at some point, did it appear that he did understand? Yes, he sort of. He sort of changed his tone. Okay. And <clears throat> did he indicate to you, uh, after he changed his tone, uh, any uh, plan or any decision that he was making? I could tell he was now just trying to understand where I was I was coming from. He was asking me who knew. He asked me if mom knew. Okay, and what did you say when he asked you if mom knew? Oh, I told him of course mom didn't know. That if she would have known, she didn't know. And is that how you felt at that time, that your mother did not know? Yes. And did you ask him to do anything for you. I'm sorry. Did you ask your brother to do anything? You're telling him how badly you feel about this, right? Yes. You're telling him you don't want it to go on? I don't remember if I told him that exactly. Um, I, I'm sure I conveyed it to him because he started talking about how it was not going to happen again. And he started to get really, really angry. And uh, he was. He was really upset and saying that it wasn't going to happen again. And I was saying, you know, I didn't know. Dad said it was going to keep happening. And I was really worried about it going on when he went away. And he said, I don't have anything to worry about, that it's not going to happen again. And Did he tell you anything else that was going to change besides that this wasn't going to happen? Again? Yes. What else did he say was going to change? He said that I was going to go to Princeton with him. He said that if I couldn't get into Princeton that I was just going to live with him over there. And did he tell you how these changes were going to come about? Yes. And what did he say? He said he was going to talk to Dad. Talk to Dad about what? About the stuff that had happened between Dad and I. He said it was going to stop and that uh, I shouldn't worry about it because it was going to end and he was going to make sure of it. And did he seem confident when he said these things? Yeah, he seemed really optimistic, too optimistic. Did you feel as optimistic as he seemed? No, I, I, I was trying to tell him, you know, Dad's going to be a little bit more upset than you think. Dad's, Dad's not going to be too happy about you telling him this information. And he said, no, no, don't worry about it. It'll be OK. It'll be fine. And he was really, I was just trying to warn him, but not too much. What do you mean you weren't trying to warn him too much? Well, I was, I was really afraid that if I told him all that was happening, that he might not talk to Dad and just leave me there. And so I didn't want him to get worried about it, that Dad would, might react badly. So I wanted to just tell him that Dad might not like what he's going to tell him. And uh, I wanted Lyle to understand it a little bit more, but I didn't quite want to tell him. What was it you didn't want to tell him? Was there something your dad had said to you repeatedly? Yes. I didn't want to tell him that uh, dad said he would kill me if I ever told anyone, and he was serious. And I just thought it might scare him off. Scare who off? Lyle off. So you didn't tell him that? No. And at that time on Tuesday, did you tell your brother any of the details of what the sexual activity between yourself and your father was? No. You didn't tell him about knees or no. nice or rough or sex? None of that. And did you tell him anything about the violent component of your sexual activity with your father? No. Was there a reason why you didn't tell him that? There were two reasons. I, 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 one, I didn't want to scare him off. And two, I just didn't want to, didn't want to tell him about it. Was it easy or difficult for you to admit to your brother that this was going on? It was very hard for me. 
were you eager or reluctant to give him any specifics of the kind of things that you and your father had been doing? I was, I was very reluctant. I didn't, I didn't, I just didn't want to have to go into it with him. I was, uh, it was, he was my brother and I felt really ashamed that I would have to uh, talk about the fact that it was still happening with him. Now, at the end of this conversation on Tuesday, um, did your brother tell you what he had decided he would do to help you? Yes. And what did he tell you he had decided to do? Well, he said that he was going to talk to Dad. Now, you encouraged him to do that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I did. Could you think of anything else that you might do for help at that point besides Lyle's offer to talk to your father? No, there was nothing I could do. Were you apprehensive or worried about how the talk might come out? I was very nervous. I, uh, I was really nervous about how Dad would react. I, was, I really didn't think Dad was going to react well, but I was, I was hoping that he might. I was hoping that Lyle might do what he seemed like he said he was going to do. Had you noticed over the years that your father spent um, a fair amount of time talking with your brother? Yes. Did you believe that your father and your brother had a different relationship than you had with your father? Yeah, he had a much different relationship. And as you were growing up, um, did you feel that the family as a whole had some respect for a while? <laughs> what did you think of your brother's intellectual ability? I thought he was very, very intelligent, and... Um, was that just your view, or did, did anybody else in the family share it? Uh, that's what my dad and my mother thought. And uh, what did you think of Lyle's verbal skills? Well, he was good in, in all of that. He was, he was intelligent, he was a good speaker, he, he knew how to talk, and I figured that he would know how to talk to dad. If he seemed confident, maybe there was a reason for him to be confident. 